Hey guys, it's Dogden here and welcome back to Game Week 20 Predictions. This week, we have a very special guest. Loneliness can follow me around. This is a the day late for the day. Look at what it means. So basically, I, I live with a rare disease. It's called Hunter Syndrome. And I go to hospital once a week for the rest of my life. But I have an amazing family, amazing nurses. It hasn't stopped me from doing anything that I love. You're not just a musician, you're a fighter. Everything you do, you're an inspiration. I think everybody realizes now that at first people tried to take the mic, but actually you're such a sound guy. You reacted well and you're trying to just live your dream. Let's get into the prediction, shall we? Right, Christmas is over. I'm sobering up and not. And the scores on the doors are Thogd had five points, Thogd and six points, and Brendan, our guest, seven points. That is after eight games. I can't wait for this week's guest, the fake Hoyland. Bring him on. It's Luton Town against Chelsea. Both teams scoring late winners to secure three points last week, which is important. Hard one to predict. You'd probably say Chelsea are favourites, wouldn't you? I definitely agree that Chelsea are favourites. Yeah. But... Luton have won their last two. They have. I reckon I'm going to go for the upset. Do you know what? That makes sense because Kenilworth Road, Luton's home ground, they're actually very good there. They beat Newcastle. They drew to Liverpool. How many goals? What score? We'll go one. One nil. I'm going to go boring here and say Chelsea are going to turn around what has been four losses in a row away from home. I think they're going to win 2-1. I just They've got so much creativity with Mudrick and Kunku, Nico Jackson. I think they'll get it from somewhere. Over to Thogdad. Chelsea, meanwhile, I'm seeing the green shoots of recovery. They left it late against Crystal Palace, but who cares? Luton won, Chelsea 2. Aston Villa against Burnley, third against 19th. Now that's the club that let your boy Rasmus Hoyland score against them. I do love Aston Villa for, for helping my boy, but I reckon they're going to be fighting back. Everyone's been talking about you over that match. The whole Villa team have seen your face. <laughs> like they thought it would be about them. And they've come online and just seen how Hoyland and the story with you has finally happened. Coming into this, I'm, I am I agree with you. I think Villa should win this game, shouldn't they? Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to think about how much by, but I reckon, I reckon Villa's going to win it. I'm going to go 3-0 win. Uh, I'm going to go 3-1. You're using your knowledge because Villa beat Burnley already 3-1 this season in August at Turf Moor. So, mate, Sean, you're making this, mate. You're, you're good at this. <laughs> the football channel's now starting on the side. Aston Villa threw away a two-goal lead against Manchester United, but let's give them some respect because they are third in the Premier League. This is going to be a home win. Aston Villa 3, Burnley one. Crystal Palace against Brentford, 15th against 4th. It's 18 and 19 points, so they're very close to each other in the Premier League table. Could go either way. You could predict anything, Sean, but it was very surprising to see Brentford lose 4-1 last night to Wolves at home. Thomas Frank, his job could be on the line. Crystal Palace, Roy Hodgson, the oldest manager in the league, he's also at risk. He lost 2-1 to Chelsea. He's had some bad form before that. Who do you think comes away with the result here, Sean? I had a lot of trouble with this one. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go for the draw. What, yeah, what, both teams will take a draw. It's it's a, it's going to be low confidence sort of outcome. I think there's one player for Crystal Palace who is better against the rest. Ebrichi Eze. He's going to make this into his own game. 2-1 win for Crystal Palace. And I don't know what goes next for Brentford. I know they do have Ivan Tony back after this week. Hopefully that will help. Palace were a little bit unlucky to lose at the death against Chelsea. Brentford, meanwhile, were mauled by Wolves. I think the bookies will go with Crystal Palace. But I've got a feeling this will be a one-all draw. Manchester City against Sheffield United. It's fourth against 20th. Now, the Blues have showed real fight after going a goal down to Everton. To climb back to a 3-1 win, Foden is on fire. Now, Sean, you're a Man United fan. This is... Manchester City, we're talking about your rival. Are you going to predict them to lose because of it? <laughs> I can't. I can't. Yeah. yeah. I can't. <laughs> well, actually, there's another lookalike in Manchester City. No. Who I've been referred to. Oh, it's Kevin De Bruyne. It's Kevin De Bruyne. No, no. Oh, no. it's not. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, not Haaland. Surely not Haaland. Definitely. You're Definitely. getting Haaland comparisons. Yeah. I, that's where it started. It started as that before Hoyland. That's oh Hoyland. my God. But we're talking about Manchester City here. And they were quadruple winners last year. Tell me, I mean, surely Manchester City beat Sheffield United at home. Yeah, I'm going 3-0. I'm going 3-0. Do you think Haaland will be back? If he if he's back, will he score? For sure. He has to get at least one, I reckon. Is he waiting yeah. for a miracle? He's waiting for a miracole. Cool. I'm going to go 3-0. I... I no KDB, no Haaland, no problem. Alvarez and Foden are on fire. Sheffield United, meanwhile, scored four goals against Luton. The trouble was two of them were in the wrong net. They are the lowest scorers in the league and surely they're going down. This will be a cricket score. Man City three, Sheffield United 
nil. Wolves against Everton, 11th versus 15th. I know Everton have lost the last three games, but two of those were against Man City and Tottenham, two very strong teams. Which way do you see this going? Everton, I reckon they're just going to get it over the line. Wow, I like that. Now, Everton have a very good away form. They've won four of their last five matches. So it's a prediction that does make sense. Dominic Calvert-Lewin up top. Is he going to score that winning goal? Anana is pretty strong. You yeah. know what? He could make the difference for you as well. So Wolves, they won 4-1 last week, though. Football's a funny old game. You don't know which way it's going to go. I'm going to sit on the fence here and say a 1-1 one, one draw. Yeah, I was going to go 2-1, but okay. I, I think I agree, I agree with you. I, I might lock in one, one or two. Let's call Wolves versus Everton a mid-table clash because it would be if it wasn't for that ridiculous 10-point deduction. This is going to be a really good game of association football. I reckon it's going to be a one all draw. Nottingham Forest versus Manchester United. It's Rasmus Hoyland's time to shine. Not just get one goal, maybe two or three. Hoyland's got the hat-trick. Hoyland's got the hat-trick. It's coming. No way. That, no, that's... There's miracles and then there's hat-tricks. Come on, Sean. Anything can happen. He's, he's getting it. He's getting it. You have been his good luck charm. I swear, ever since you've started blessing him, he's been seeing your posts and it's genuinely helped him with confidence. When he ran over to that corner after scoring, that was another level of passion. That wasn't just your average goal. There was a lot behind that, meaning. I had goosebumps when I watched it back because I could see how much it meant to him and mm -hmm. how how much determination he had. And once he finally got the goal, it was just, yeah, I can't imagine how he felt. Nottingham Forest, let's respect them. They've got a new manager. They've just beat Newcastle 3-1. Nuno Espirito Santo has got them flying. Do you think Forest will score? I was back in Manchester United all the way. Three -0. I'm going to go Nottingham Forest 1. Manchester United 2, Hoyland to score the winner again. That would be a movie. That would be that a would, movie. What would you say to a live performance at Old Trafford if that could be possible? I'm ready to book a flight. I'm ready to <laughs> book a flight. I would, I, would, I would love to get there and just sing in person and meet everyone. The real Hoyland got his goal after over a thousand minutes. Well done to him. I wonder what the fake Hoyland thinks of that. But it's going to be Forest 1, Man United Two. Fulham against Arsenal, so two London clubs, 13th against second in the Premier League. And to be honest, the Whites, they lost 2-0 at home last time to Burnley, which Burnley isn't their relegation fighting side. It's not a great result. But Arsenal had to travel to Liverpool, which is a tough place to go, and they drew 1-1. Which way do you see this going? Surely Arsenal are favourites. Yeah, I have, to, I have to agree with you. I think Arsenal's got it in the bag. 3-0, I reckon it's going to be another 3-0 win. The last four games in West London have ended 3-0, 3-0, 5-1, 3-1. So 3-0 is very likely, and I'm going to go with the same. Let's go to Thogdad. I think this will be a comfortable Arsenal win, 2-0. Now, the manager of Tottenham is an Aussie. Did you know that? Ange Postacoglu is an Aussie, and he's absolutely shook the Premier League since joining this year. It is, it's incredible to see Australian doing so many amazing things. Can I ask you a question, actually? Do you prefer Aussie football, Aussie rules, or English football now? I definitely know a lot more about AFL. I do okay. love the AFL. Ange Postacoglu at home to Bournemouth. Now, they're the form team right now. They're winning everything, left, right, and center. Under Ariola, their new manager, the Spaniard, he has been doing incredible things. I can see goals in this game, Sean. Which way is it going to go? I have to support Australia. I'll get Tottenham 2, 1. But I think more goals to the Cherries. I'm going to go Tottenham 2, Bournemouth 3. The last time, Solanke dropped a masterclass. He got a goal and assist. That's the striker for Bournemouth. He helped them to a win. I think he'll do it again. Hong Min Son on 11 goals. Richarlison on brilliant form. They are something special. I reckon this is going to be Spurs 2, Bournemouth 1. Time for another New Year's Eve cracker. It's Liverpool against Newcastle. First against eight, and the Reds had to pummel shots at James Trafford last out, and two went in to gain three points. Now tell me, Sean, I've heard that before you turned the United fan, you had a sneaky charm for Liverpool. You liked them, didn't you? You Never Walk Alone is an incredible song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I respect I, that. But it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for Liverpool, I think. The Geordies played Champions League football in the group of death. I don't know if you heard about that. And they, they're so tired from the back end of those matches that they're really struggling in the Premier League. In the last five games, they've lost four and won one. They need a miracle. They do. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to back Liverpool 2-0. I think Mo Salah is too good right now. I thought the way he turned Zinchenko against Arsenal was a joke. I'm going to go 2-0. I think it's nothing against the Geordies. They're just too tired. Anfield is a tough place to go. Liverpool 3, Newcastle 1. It's West Ham against Brighton. 
30 against 29 points. That's how close it is in the table from 7th to ninth. But the Hammers are top class at home. They're different gravy. And Brighton have about 10 injuries. The manager of Brighton has been saying to the press that he doesn't know what he can do anymore. Karen Matoma's just got another one. That's four to six weeks out for him. Surely you're going to back the home team, the Londoners, West Ham. Yeah, I've got a few family members who barrack West Ham. Man wow. supported. So I'm... I think West Ham can manage to pull it off. So for them, we're both going to back West Ham. I'm going to say 2-1, and they will know Mo Kudus right now, cooking, he's going to score. I'm going to go exactly with what you said, 2-1, 2-1. I love that. That man, Jared Bowen, has got 11 goals this season. And I'm going to go with home advantage here. West Ham to win, 2-1. Oh, cups still out of my head. Last night, who knows where I've been. Every day, the demons come back to call. I'm, I'm excited. That is amazing. Anything else you want to listen, the link is in the description. I'm going to put your Spotify on there. I'm going to put all your social medias. Let's keep supporting Sean Millis, guys. We spoke about the Hoyland meme, but you're something a lot more than just that. How many likes should we go for, Sean? Can we go for 20? 